there good looking, stick around for an upper body with cardio drills inserted so we torch some calories. Now you need some tools for this workout. So I want you to grab one dumbbell, preferably a moderate weight, and hey, a kettlebell works amazing as well. And we also need a sturdy chair. Now before we go any further, I have a question to ask you. Have you subscribed to the channel? <gasps> Why not? Don't you like me? <laughs> I'm just bugging you. Hey, if you want to keep the fun happening, please subscribe to the channel. And if you want me to let you know every time I release a new workout on the channel, click that notification bell. Because that's how it works here on YouTube. All right, gra gather up your tools, click subscribe if you haven't already, and let's go start sweating. Hello there. Hey, welcome. Welcome to my living room. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush as well as many other muscles of their 20s. Hey, listen, I've been a personal trainer for 25 years. I've focused my career on the over 40 woman and I'm 50 years old myself. That's why I started this channel. So it is super awesome that you showed up. I hope you click that subscribe button so we can keep the fun going. Now let's put the dumbbell off to our side, chair off to your side. We'll warm up, I'll chat about the workout and then we get going. I have no idea what that means, but it just came out. Here we go, ready? Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly turned out. We have 10 squats, let's do it. Bum pushes rearward, hip hinge for me, chest is lifted, knees tracking with the toes. I know, right? You're thinking, PJ, why are we doing squats? This is an upper body workout. Well, little grasshopper, it's because the cardio is gonna involve these babies, so we gotta get them ready. Last three, two, one, all right, let's take a forward lunge for me. I want you to lunge forward with the left leg, right hand on the ground, twist, open up the T-spine, chest, perfect, and foot back, other side. Now, if you can't get that hand on the ground, don't worry about it. You go down as low as you want, or as you can, but I definitely want you to add that twist. So maybe this is where you are at. Follow your gaze with your hand, it's gonna challenge your balance, there's no doubt about it. But hey, balance improves just like every other muscle in the body, the more we challenge it. So we've got, uh, yeah, we just got a ton of exercises. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun programming this one because it's a challenge to just program with one dumbbell. Whoops, lost my balance. See, I lost my balance, it happens. Anyways, it's a challenge to program with one dumbbell. And I like a challenge, so. I hope I delivered for you today. I feel I have, but you let me know after the workout. One more each side. Excellent, now give me some big arm circles, get into those shoulders for me, oh yeah. Now as per every workout that I release, I'm gonna show you different variations because the cardio ones are pretty intense. So I'll show you how you can modify it because maybe you need to or maybe you're just not feeling it today. And if that's the case, bravo for putting those runners on and pushing play. You are my kind of woman. Last three, two, one, open and close now. Beautiful. Now we're gonna head down on the ground for some push-ups. If push-ups aren't your bag, I want you to grab that one dumbbell and do a chest press with the one dumbbell. So if you're not doing push-ups with me, you're gonna hold on to the dumbbell with each hand and do a press motion. Deal? Awesome. The rest of you, on your knees or toes, if you can do a good looking push-up, chest to ground, beautiful, ready? Hands slightly wider than shoulders, bum is down, take a gaze slightly ahead of you and lower down. One, two, how many are we doing? Let's do 10, three, four, we don't wanna burn ourselves out. Five, six, seven, one more. And come on up. Excellent, shake out those hands. Now, hey, we're gonna start our first series. <laughs> we start off with a bang, and then it just keeps getting better after that. So grab a sip of water while I demo our first series of moves. 
Okay, we're gonna start with a over the dumbbell burpee. <laughs> we have eight rounds of 20 seconds. So what does that look like? Well, I want you to place your one dumbbell or your kettlebell on the side there. From this position, we hop over, land soft, hands to ground, step out to high plank, back and hop over again and do it on this side. And if you're looking at me like, PJ, you're nuts. I don't do that kind of stuff. No worries, I got back up for you. So if you don't want to burpee with a me, hands behind the ears, step over, tap the toe, and then with this toe, twist knee up. Got it? See? No problem. Hey, and if you do want to, if you're kind of in between those two options, you can definitely do this. Hands to ground, step back, don't jump back and then do this and step back, don't jump back. I will always have your back, okay? I am well aware that not everything works 100%, 100% of the time, so I got gotcha. you. All right, so it's essentially four minutes of burpees if you're joining me. I know, don't run away yet. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So jump, land soft, hands to the ground, wrists under shoulders. Now when we step out or jump out, we want a nice strong looking plank. If you're jumping over that dumbbell, that's a great bone building exercise, right? Impact helps build the bone. Time. Don't go anywhere. That was only round one. We have seven more to go. 10 second break in between, just like a true Tabata. Ready, set, go. See, this is why I warmed your legs up. Time. March it on the spot on those 10 second breaks. Oh, loving husband just came home. Go, number three. Wonder if he'll make an appearance for us. Done. Whew. I think I'm doing like the same amount every time, so that's good. Because I always seem to end up here. How about you? You ending up on the same side too? Go. Number four. Whew. I could have gone down, but I, yeah. Okay, so we're halfway. No problem, we got this. Ready for number five? Go. Time, march it out. You can probably hear my heavy breathing. Whew. Number six, you ready? Neither am I, but we're doing it. <laughs> I told you we were gonna burn some calories. I do not lie to you, YouTube. I will never lie to you. Whew. Okay, last two. No problem. Go. One more. And then are we done the workout? <laughs> nope, we're just starting. <laughs> Go. <laughs> huh. 
time. Whew. Nicely done. All right, march it out so that those heart rates come down just a bit. Whew. Whew. All right, up in my timer. Keep moving those feet, people. So, here's the scoop. You need your chair, okay, and the dumbbell or kettlebell. You keep marching, let that heart rate come down. Don't take big gulps of water, okay? By all means, have some water, but little sips. Okay, three rounds at 40 seconds. We have a chair renegade row, each arm, and then a tricep extension. So let me show you what it looks like. Hand on your chair, feet apart, hips squared, and row. Okay, we want strict form on that. If you are like, no way, PJ, that's ridiculous. It can be ridiculous. You don't need the chair then. You'll lean into that front leg, neutral spine, and perform your one arm row like so. Yeah, I know, cool, right? All right, and then arms over the head, knees are soft, and let's do those triceps. Yeah, this is gonna burn. So if you got a kettlebell, you can hold onto the, the fat end or you can flip it around and hold the handle and the bottom end. Okay, I need a sip of water. You guys got one, I need one now. All right, so it's three rounds, okay? So traditional strength program here. Woo, you ready? Sure you are. You're amazing that way. Get set, if you're joining me, feet apart. You want your body weight right on top of the wrist, okay? And go. Elbow brush by the rib cage. Good, keep those hips squared. So there is a ton of core right now, whether you're doing the standing or the chair renegade with me. So I want you to really engage those abs, feel them fire up. Put the smile on your face, because we're getting more muscle than we asked for. Yes. Whew. Other arm is definitely gonna burn, holding us up. Time. And then at any time, if it gets too much, do the standing row, okay? So this guy, right? If you're joining me on the chair and it just gets too much, other side, and go. I'm always gonna give you as many options as I can. I've been doing this for a long time, so I tend to know what the common areas that are either challenging for those of us over the age of 40 or have a higher risk of previous injuries. So I always try to do my best. If I don't, just leave a comment down below. I always get back to everybody's comments. Might not be right away, but I always do. I'm getting a lot more as the channel grows. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up. <laughs> Time. Whew. All right, triceps. Now, if you'd like, you can join me and have a seat. It makes it harder because you can't use your legs. So just judge accordingly. Here we go. Drop the dumbbell post behind the head or your kettlebell. Now, if you're standing, one thing you might want to do is kickstand that leg behind you, all right, to help support your low back. You can also use your legs a bit if it starts getting too much. Okay, so see how I'm bending the knees and using the power of my legs? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Slowly turning this workout into a lower body workout, aren't I? It's <laughs> my master plan. Now, I love training legs. I love training, period. Time. I just don't love running. You'll never catch me running, unless I'm late. All right, here we go. Second set. And even then, if I'm late, I'll be in my car. So you'll catch me speeding, not running. I'm trying to like running, I really am. So it's an easy, not easy, but you know what I mean? Like. You can always go for a run, right? You don't always have dumbbells. So you can always go for a run. Running saw a huge surge though, didn't it, with COVID, which is great. People being reintroduced to movement, love it. Whew. 
time. Whoa, his right arm was burning out. All right, other side. So get that form right on top of that left wrist. Good, hips are squared. So that right hip may lift up a bit. I want you to try to avoid that. I don't know if you can see, but my feet are really wide. So I'm providing myself a really good base of support on the lower body so I can keep that core strong. Time. All right, seated or kickstand that back leg. Triceps, I'm just gonna stand. Here we go, ready? And dumbbell back and press up. Oh, hello there, back of the arm. Woo! Again, slow it down. Maybe pause with the arms up, but try not to just release the dumbbell totally. Keep some constant tension. Either the arms straight, take a breath, or with them bent, take a breath, okay? Time. All right, good news, last set. We got this. Here we go, so feet are really wide, you guys, wider than your shoulders, body weight on top of that right wrist. Good. Now if you're doing the standing rows, okay, you're leaning into that right thigh, so allow that forearm to drop down into your thigh to give your low back some support. Time. Whew. All right, other side. So if you haven't been here for a while, you'll notice I took down the big clock. You can let me know down below if you like, if you can see my head better. Just get in a comment that you couldn't really see my head. So, and it's not like I used the clock. There hasn't been a battery in it for years. <laughs> Almost there, you guys, come on. Time, see? All right, triceps, we'll shake the arms out, grab a sip of water, and move into a new series of moves. Here we go. Abs engaged, dumbbell up. Again, kickstand that leg behind you. I find that it really helps support my low back. But if it doesn't for you, you know, play around with it. You've got this stance, or you've got just a slightly staggered stance. I want you to find what's gonna enable you to do the lift so you can feel the muscle and everything else feels good. Oh boy, time. <laughs> I was getting a little burny, wasn't it? All right, we can get rid of our chair. We're on the ground for the next series of moves. We will be working, um, yeah, triceps again, sorry. <laughs> but also getting our pecs and front shoulder involved. So it won't be as burny. And then we will superset that one arm chest press with a ab exercise. Three rounds again. So. You sip, take a look. All right, we'll start with the left arm. Right arm is target, all right. Abs are engaged, so your low back's not lifting off, and we press up. 
Okay, we've got each side and then we're done that. I wanna grab onto the dumbbell each end with my hands and then I roll the tailbone up, try to touch the post and laces and then down. Good, the straighter my arms are, the more challenge it's going to be for my lats and shoulders and abs, no doubt about that. But you choose what's gonna get you through the motion. Now, if lifting that dumbbell up and over like that is not a possibility, then keep the dumbbell down on the ground, okay? And do the movement as if you had a dumbbell. All right? If the triceps or your chest starts to burn out too much and your single arm isn't working for you, double arm. Okay? I think I got all the bases covered. I think we're good. All right, if you're doing single arm, I want you to line that left elbow up with the left shoulder, and then the wrist is lined up with the elbow. Perfect. Now extend your other arm up as a target and press. Good, now if you wanna get a little bit of booty love with this, you can lift the hips up and perform this in a bridge pattern. Totally up to you. Feels nice to lie down though, doesn't it? <laughs> See what I mean about the triceps though? Do you feel that? Back of the arm right now? Woo! This is my weaker arm, so oh boy. Time. All right, right arm. Whew. So elbow lines up with shoulder, wrist over top of elbow. Beautiful. Ready, set, and press. Straighten the arm completely. Dumbbells ending above the chest, not the head. So that's why I like this other hand up there as a target. Time. All right, so if you're using the dumbbell, you'll join me. Otherwise, just extend your arms overhead. Bring the feet together, dumbbell behind the head, hand on each end of your dumbbell. Exhale, curl up. See if you can post to shoelaces and down. Good, watch that you don't pinch your fingers as you lower the dumbbell down. I just did that. <laughs> I know that would have been a nice safety cue before the workout wouldn't have been. Sorry, train or fail. Again, you can try straightening the arms, make it a little bit more challenging for the shoulders and the lats. Roll the tailbone off, really get those abs engaged. Time, all right, round two. My watch thinks I'm finished working out. Jeez, I did not finish working out. I'm still training, thank you very much. Left arm and press. I have an eye watch and it's apparently not happy because I'm not moving fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, I watch. <laughs> Do you have one too? And when you're binge watching Netflix, <laughs> it tells you it's time to stand up. <laughs> You've been on the couch too long. It's time to get your ass up. Uh, yeah, dismiss. <laughs> So on this last set, you might want to, we're not on it yet, but we're on the second set, but when we get to the last one, we might want to hold on the dumbbell with each hand, depending on what weight you are using. I realize not a lot of people have dumbbells and it's really hard to source dumbbells. So you might be just stuck with, you know, a 15 or a 20 pound dumbbell. That would be painful. For reference, I'm using a 12. Time. 
time. Pullovers, so dumbbell behind the head or just your hands. Feet together, knees together, or knees together. And roll up, don't pinch your finger. There we go. Exhale as you curl everything up, pulling that dumbbell through, getting into the shoulders and the lats while we work into the abs. Time. Okay, last set. So you've got a choice. You can hold on to the dumbbell with two hands or try to go it with the one. Ready? Okay, and press. Whew. Very tempted to hold on to it with two hands. This left arm needs some work. But it's always more motivating. I, I seem to, and maybe you're the same way, I can push through it when we know it's the last set. <laughs> If I were to say there's two more rounds after this, I'd be like, oh, oh, forget it, PJ. But last set, we got this. Time. Whew. That was almost close of not getting it for me. How are you doing? All right, right arm. Ready, go. Time. Whew. All right, pullovers. Watch your fingers. <laughs> Knees together. Ready, curl up, exhale, pull the dumbbell. Try to touch your laces. And then you've really got to control that dumbbell on the way back down too. There's no doubt this is a little bit more challenging time if you have a kettlebell because of the fat end, the bulbous end. All right, grab a sip of water. Whew, we're moving into a cardio exercise and then we continue on with our strength. Okay, get up into a standing position. We have another mini Tabata. I'm gonna teach you a squat and swing and then we alternate that with a wood chop. So if you have a kettlebell, I just want you to stay with wood chop. Um, well, with that said, no, try the, the squat and swing. I'm thinking it through here. Um, you would just hold on to the top posting. Those of us with a dumbbell, we're going to hold on to each end. It's a little squat and swing to the side. Now, what I want you to be aware of is that you are tracking the knee straight ahead, especially on that side where we're swinging. Don't let that knee cave in. Second is I'm getting the dumbbell up because I'm using my glutes. All right, then for number two, we'll go a little wider with the stance and do a wood chop where it's almost like an RDL. So we've got a little bit of a kind of a rear deadlift here, a Romanian deadlift, pushing the bum rearward is what I was meant to say. Okay, and using the glutes again to get the dumbbell up there. That'll be really cool with a wood chop, with a, um, oh, can't speak, with a kettlebell because that's what kettlebells, all right, that's their main exercise there. All right, I'm just gonna shut up. You ready? <laughs> squat and s squat, did I change the channel? Good, squat and swing. I'm a mess right now. 
I'm a mess. Here we go. Round one. Smiles on. Hold on to the dumbbell. Feet are just a shoulder width apart. Squat swing. So we don't want to go too wide, otherwise it's too hard to get the dumbbell towards our side. We want to make sure that we are tracking those knees. Don't round the back. Time. All right, now go wider. Hold on to the center post. Okay, we swing through the legs. Use the glutes to get back up in neutral spine. So hip hinge, bum back, press. Good, now the dumbbell come up higher. Excellent. You can also hold on to the end. I'm just always worried I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> See a dumbbell go flying. Time, all right, squat and swing. So we bring the feet back to shoulder width. It's a little bit more quad dominant now in the squat. And squat down and swing. Time. All right. Feet wider than shoulders now. Toes have a slight turn out. Hold on to your center post if you have a dumbbell. Wood chop, go. Use those glutes to get the arms up there. You want speed too, so this isn't slow and deliberate. All right. We've got momentum. We've got the glutes working, legs working, core working, and then the shoulders. Time. All right, feet in, number five. Whew. I know, this is good, eh? <laughs> Ready, and go. Eh? <laughs> you know I'm from Canada now, don't you? Actually, I'm from Canada. Time, wood chop. Loving husbands from Arkansas. Bella's from Canada. And George is from Washington State. <laughs> Ready and go. So, all the boys in the house are American. <laughs> Time, whew, all right, oh no, I lost count. Uh-oh, are we halfway? I think we are, this is number five. Oh, sorry. This is number five regardless. I'm sorry, if it's number six, then I really suck. But hey, I won't charge you for this extra exercise. <laughs> Time. I don't know. I'll call that one. Four. Here's five. Ready? <laughs> Wood chop. <laughs> and go. And no, I don't have my timer set for eight intervals. Sorry, I don't even remember what I said it at, so I can't even use that for reference. Oh. All right, let's do three more. I know, it would be two more. It would be two more. I'm on track. Two more. Woo! Hey, I pulled that one out the ninth inning. Yes. Time. Here we go. Wood chop. Last time. Or maybe not. <laughs> Ready, set, and go.
time. Whew. All right, grab some water, keep those feet moving a little bit. We're on our final series here. We're gonna change the time to 30 seconds. We have four rounds because we're gonna alternate one side for a couple. All right, so bicep curl, hold on to your kettlebell, either um, fat end and then handle and curl or your dumbbell like so and press, okay? Yeah, excellent. Now if you have a kettlebell for the next set that we do, I want you to flip it around so the fat ends on the other hand, okay? And then we go into a wood chop, in which we take the arm straight up. If you've been doing my workouts for the last few weeks, you know I'm in love with this move. Push the hip towards the dumbbell arm, keep the dumbbell above the shoulder, come down as low as you can and back up. Okay, now if that gets too much, we can drop the dumbbell to the bottom hand. And I may do that myself because 12 is kind of heavy. Okay, so you can do so. So top hand, more challenging, bottom hand, easier. All right, four rounds. I know, ready, set, round one. Here we go, curl and then press. Great job, knees are soft. When we do the curl, I want you to make sure you finish it. So fully extend those arms, beautiful. Don't let your spine move, we're really rooted in our ground here, knees are bent a bit. Time, all right, so Let's just mirror me, okay? So turn your right toe out, dumbbell in your left hand. If you're doing it above, otherwise switch. Okay, now push your hip towards the right, slide the bottom one down to the insole of your foot and then come back up. The entire time we wanna keep this hand above the shoulder. Deal? Perfect. Now when the timer goes, we go back to the top, round two, curl and press and then we'll do the other side for wood chop. So we will only do two rounds of the same arm on this four set series. Time, Whew. a lot of core on that, wow. Wowzers, love it. Ready? Shoulders pulled back and down, knees are soft, abs are engaged. And if you need a break, if the pressing's just not working for you, just do bicep curls, or do three curls and one press. Just don't leave. <laughs> Time. Okay, dumbbell, if you're doing it above the head in the right hand, or the left hand, your left, my right, turn that right toe out. Extend up, so we wanna keep this top arm, whether or not you have the dumbbell up above the shoulder at all times. Push the hip away, that's how we clear and we have that ability to come down. Can we get that bottom arm to touch the ground? I can't on this side, I might by the final round, but kind of tight right now. Keep that elbow straight, whether or not you have the dumbbell. Start training your good form for a wood chop now, or a windmill now. Whew, time, all right, here we go. Round three. Yeah, I'm not gonna lose count on this one, trust me. <laughs> one would hope I could at least count to four. <laughs> one would hope. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, I'm not quite like other YouTube fitness instructors. <laughs> it may or may not work for you. If it doesn't work for you, time. Please don't leave a shitty comment down below. <laughs> All right, toe turns away, right arm up. If you want to have the dumbbell, push the hip and down. I don't get many of them. And in fact, they don't bother me. Thankfully. Ooh. They bother my husband more, actually. They really bug him. And that makes sense, right? If somebody were to say something derogatory to him, I would be livid. 
I would hunt you down. <laughs> Time. Whew. All right, last set. Hey, damn, we're good. Here we go. Curl press, abs engaged, knees soft, perfect. So we are less than two minutes away to a wonderful, beautiful stretch. Trainers promise. Time. All right, here we go. You know the drill. Extend that arm, keep it straight. Now remember, you're pushing your hip to your left, okay? Ready, go. Keep that top hand lined up with your shoulder the entire time. So core, shoulder, hips, balance. Yep. Active mobility in the spine, in the hips. Time, whew, all right. Grab yourself a sip of water. We will stretch you out and you can continue on with your day. Awesome. So hey, listen, place the, interlace the hands, place them behind the head, let the elbows drop back, let the head drop back. Maybe let your upper body drop back a bit so you're doing a bit of spinal extension. Push the hips towards me. And just breathe into the front of the body. Softness in the knees. Nicely done. That was not an easy workout. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Release the hands, take that right arm across, thumb up, press in. So hey, a few things you gotta do before you leave. First, if you haven't already, hey, come on, subscribe. Uh, second, if you enjoyed the workout, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And I would love to hear, comment below from you what you thought of the workout. Take this arm behind the head for the triceps, lean away. What do you think of my no clock? <laughs> And then finally, we could use your support on Patreon. It's due to the support of that community that we are able to keep the YouTube channel going. So for as little as $3 a month, you can help our workouts keep them going. So even if you visit me once a week or once a month, I think I'm worth three bucks. And release. Other side, where the workout is worth, not necessarily me. Let me reword that, the workout. <laughs> I'm worth a hell of a lot more. <laughs> Sorry, just had to. All right, take the arm in between the shoulder blades, lean away. All right, let's get into your lats, okay, for those um, chair renegade rows or one arm row if you're doing those. On the knees, big toes together, open up the knees. We'll sit back in a child's pose, but walk the hands forward and they're hands are shoulder width apart and just sit your bum back from there so my elbows are off of the mat I want to feel the stretch down the sides of the body maybe under the armpit area Now walk your hands to the left side, right hand on top of left, push your right hip away. Lengthen through that right side. Couple of breaths here. Other side, push the left hip away. And release. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. I hope I can see you on Patreon. All the information is down below if you want to read up on that. And yeah, it's a pretty cool community. So I hope I get to see you there. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Bye. Whew. 
Okay, yes, done, check.